Hey, it's Matt from Trisman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through maximized conversions versus target CPA. I'm going to go over what they are, what the difference is, and really how you should apply this in your account and actually how to set it up inside your account. So to start off, what is maximized conversions? What is target CPA? And maximized conversions is a bidding strategy inside Google Ads. Essentially, you give Google most of the reins when it comes to determining bid limits, what keywords we should be going after, if you have broad match applied. So it really gives Google Google's AI the entire range and it really allows it to maximize the conversions available inside your account, hence maximize conversions. And that's really what this bidding strategy goes after. It goes after the most amount of conversions possible. Now target CPA used to be its own bidding strategy and it still kind of is, but Google has placed this under the maximize conversions bidding strategy. So when we go into this, I'll show you how to do it. Target CPA is now a part of maximize conversions. It allows you to set a cost per action limit. So say Say you only want to get leads for under $50. You can tell Google, hey, for this maximized conversion strategy, I want to only get leads for $50 and we can put it under the maximized conversion bidding strategy and that makes it the target CPA bidding strategy. These again used to be their own bidding strategies for whatever reason, put them together and now it's pretty simple. You just have to hit maximize conversions and then go below it, but I'll show you that in a second. Another thing I should mention about maximize conversions is it doesn't understand what we're actually going for if we don't set a target CPA. Now, this could be good at the very beginning if we choose not to use maximize clicks because we want as much data in the actual account as possible. However, Google sometimes doesn't actually know what a conversion should be worth. So maybe you kind of want conversions for around 40 or $50, but you tell Google, hey, just get us as many conversions as possible. And Google says, well, I can get you, you know, 20 conversions this month, but they're all going to cost you $100. And since you have a you know high budget, that's what we're going to do. And that's one of the real cons of having just maximized conversions without setting a target CPA is sometimes it can go wild. Sometimes it does perform better than expected. However, most of the time, the target CPA is just a fail safe. So we don't go crazy on the spending and the actual lead costs when it comes to maximize conversions. Now, I really like the maximize conversion strategy, and I really think most accounts, if they have enough data, should be using this, especially for service-based businesses. If you're an e-com store, chances are you wanna go with maximize conversion value because then you wanna talk about profit margins as compared to just the amount of leads. If we're just going after leads, we want people calling us, we want people emailing us, Maximize conversion really is the way to go for Google ads. And that being said, there are other factors you have to take into account, like the amount of data in the account. If you don't have enough data in the account, maximize conversions isn't going to be your best bet right off the start. Generally, what we like to do is start off with maximize clicks, get as much data into the account over the first month as we can, and then switch it over to maximize conversions. That way, Google's AI has a whole bunch of data to play with, and the actual AI performs a lot better in the second and third month, as opposed to just running it straight from the get-go because it just doesn't have enough data to play around with. That being said, how do we actually go about setting this up in our account if we choose to set up maximize conversions and target CPA? Now, what we have to do is come over here to our account. We're going to click on one of our campaigns. So for this one, it's going to be pool installation. We're going to come over here to settings. We're going to come down here to bidding. Right now, it's set in manual CPC. What we have to do is hit change bid strategy. We're going to click manual CPC here. We're going to come down here to maximize conversions. And if we want to set this to maximize conversions, all we have to do is hit save and we are good to go. If we want to set this to target CPA, we have to check this box off, put in the estimated cost per action we want. So maybe it's $50. If you run maximize clicks for about a month or so, Google will auto generate a target CPA for you on what it thinks you can get leads for. So it might say like $45 or whatever you're getting leads for. And then what I would recommend from there is give it probably five, maybe even 10 more dollars to play with. And then over the course of the next few months, slowly bring it down and allow Google to get accustomed to bringing in these leads and bringing in all this data. With that bit higher cost per action, Google's going to have a little bit more room to optimize and it's going to make your account run a lot better just because it has room to experiment. If you put this too low, Google's going to be very constricted. It's not going to take the risk it needs to to have a successful account. So I always recommend giving your target cost per action a little bit more room just to run with. That way it can optimize and your account should be successful. Now that we've set a target cost per action, all we have to do is scroll down, hit save, and we are good to go. And now as you can see here, our bidding strategy has been set to maximize conversions and has been set to the target CPA of $50. So we have successfully set our bidding strategy 
over to maximize conversions with target CPA enabled. If you just want maximize conversions, don't set the target CPA. Uh, you, you should be good to go. Now a word from today's sponsor. If you want to get your phone ringing for your call only campaigns, this is the ultimate call only ads course. And this is the course for you. This course walks you step by step on how to build a successful call only ads campaign. It shows you how to set up the account, the actual theory behind the account on why it works and really how you're going to beat your competitors inside Google ads. And it also shows you the optimization process that you need to implement to stay ahead of your competitors month after month and allow you to have a successful account. It comes with plug and play headlines and descriptions, call it extensions, everything you need to have a very successful campaign. And it's very, very simple. It walks you through everything you need to have a successful call only ads campaign. Again, it's plug and play, super simple. If you're interested in building out a call only campaign, this is the course for you. And it will allow you to bring in high quality leads month after month and really get your phone ringing for your business. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about maximized conversion bidding, uh, target CPA bidding, or anything else regarding Google ads, leave a comment down in the comment section down below. If you're interested, check out our Discord with our community around Google ads. That's what we talk about inside the server. It's really cool. Uh, I'm really enjoying being in that Discord server, just talking to everyone. It's really fun. Other than that, though, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.